Hey guys, my name is Nori and welcome back to my channel. So I realized that I did a manga collection and I said in that video that I was going to do a graphic novel collection and I never did it. So <laughs> I am a clown. So today we're going to be doing the graphic novel collection. I recently just started collecting graphic novels and this is obviously for your enjoyment to see if you like something or if you don't and or for me to you know document the process of me buying graphic novels because it's super cool to go back one year and see like okay look what I have look what I get rid of and what I like and what I don't like. I'm gonna give a special shout out to one of the readathons that I did make with chapter Kate and it is called Kaboomathon. Now Kaboomathon is a graphic novel specific readathon. So if you are a graphic novel lover, I am going to link down all of our information below because we are planning to do some stuff in 2020. So stick around. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm going to keep rambling and this video is going to take forever. So I don't want to take too much of your time. So I will see you next clip and I hope that you enjoy this video. Starting with Avatar The Last Airbender Part 1, The Promise. I really loved this book when I got it and I don't know why I haven't kept on reading. So there's one. I actually have a single issue of BB Free by Gabby Rivera and Royal Dunlap. This is a new series. I'm pretty sure it has just two issues, but like, <laughs> can we talk about this cover? It's probably one of my favorite covers ever. Witchblade Origins by Wool Z and Turner D. Tron. Next, it is a J.R.R. Tolkien with The Hobbit. I'm not gonna lie, the first time that I watched a movie, I fell asleep. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get the graphic novel and read it. But then I watched the movie again and freaking loved it. So now this is just sitting here and I'll eventually get to it. <laughs> All right, now we have two volumes. This is volumes one and two of Lumberjane. If you have not watched my TVR, I'll link it down below. I actually picked out this one to read in January, but I actually finished reading this one. And I'm going to give it a four star spoiler. I really, 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 really like this. So I'm excited because I already bought two volumes and <laughs> I'm not wasting my money. The next little pile that I have is Image Comics. They have pretty much turned into my favorite comic company of all time ever and that goes above DC Comics as well. I know, incredible. So I'm going to show you what I have. The first one, it is a phonogram, The Singles Club. This is volume two. You girl actually bought the second volume and realized that I didn't have the first volume. Have you guys done that? All right, now we have three issues. Again, I am missing one because this is volumes one, two, and four. And I'm telling you guys, this is Paper Girls. And um, these are the best covers I have ever seen in my entire life. Do I have it out of order? Of course I have it out of order. Next two volumes, I have Rat Queens volumes one and two. I loved the series when I was first reading it and I don't know why I haven't continued it but if you want a badass female group in a fantasy setting with representation I'm not gonna say anymore next one we have the wicked and the divine the vast act this is a very loved graphic novel and you girl has not read it because I don't know why the art it is absolutely beautiful like this is the first page that i opened the color scheme is beautiful i swear image comics again with the color blocking hello image comics has the best images and colors i swear next up we have the well beloved saga volume one i actually read all nine volumes and i'm just holding out to get the thick one that has the finger pointed out because it has all of nine volumes and I hope that they continue on with the series because I need to know <laughs> if you know 
you know. All right, now we have one of my favorite series of all time, and it is Skyward Volumes 1 and 2. This is actually a trilogy, and the third volume came out recently. I read it. I really liked it. And I cannot stop talking about the series if you have not read it, please. And then the last one we have, it is I Hate Fairyland Volume 1. Now, I know I started reading this and I never picked it back up, but it is almost that dark, cutesy fan. And you know I'm a fan of bright colors. So this talks about this little girl, but this little girl is actually in her 30s because she gets stuck in fairyland and as you can see it gets brutal we are going to power through all of my dc comics starting off with voodoo volumes one and two can we talk about this cover absolutely beautiful next one it is justice league dark volume one this has one of my favorite characters and that is satana and you will see her throughout the video because i love her and i have a lot of her issues so yeah we have green lantern volume one this is a ring bearer i talked about this in my tbr cookie jar because i actually picked it out so i actually have to read it next one it is a uh, justice league i believe this is um part of the movie they were giving these out when uh justice league came out and uh we, we don't talk about the movie a lot but it's a single issue why not next one it was actually a gift this is uh, the man of steel this is a uh, one of those uh vintage comics this is why i have it in the plastic because i try to protect it at all costs and if you couldn't tell superman is my man he's my man all right next one it is injustice gods among us this is a whole entire collection of year one i believe they have until year five so this is uh i want to say like four comics in one i found the bind up and uh yeah next one it is a superman wonder woman volume one power couple these two are a dynamic duo and if you didn't know you know they have a little something something going on but obviously he ends up with lois next one it is identity crisis again by dc this one is so intense so it is a story and one and if you want to know how dark dc gets i suggest that you start with this one next up we have a part of the rebirth collection we have wonder woman volume one i love her she's top three of my favorite females in dc comics then we have a volume two of titans from rebirth i love teen titans i love young justice i love the younger side of the justice league and you kind of get to follow them and it's so exciting next one we have nightwing volume two part of the rebirth a collection again just talking about young justice and teen titans we get to follow nightwing which if you didn't know he is robin next one it is a superman volume one this is a son of superman again he's my main so next one it is titans volume one the return of wally west obviously i can't further explain this because if not these are spoilers but yes next one we have batman hush i believe this is another single story and it obviously it involves batman this is some good stuff check it out actually this is base this is babe's volume so it's mine whatever <laughs> all right next one it is a crisis on infinite earth i know for a fact that this is a single volume and a lot happens here so uh this is a definite old one you can tell by the art but this is a huge turning point in uh, the dc comics one next one we have satana by paul dini this is a collection of her stories y'all i freaking love her so much obviously she's in the top three of my favorite female dc comics so she will always have my heart so 
Next one, we got Action Comics Volume 1, Path of Doom. This one, it is super cool. I actually read this one recently, and if you did not know, it is Superman and Lex Luthor as part of the Superman team. Next one, we got The Baddest B, and it is a Harley Quinn Greatest Hits. This is a comp of some of her stories. Next one, we have Superman, Lois, and Clark. You know, our favorite couple, not really, but <laughs> we still, I still love them, you know. <laughs> All right, next we got Nightwing. This is part of the new 52. This is volume one, and it's called Traps and trampees next we have two issues of a satana these are single issues and they're protected in their little sleeves because these are pretty old and then the last dc comics that we got it is convergence by jeff king scott lubdell and dan jurgens now this is a single story as well and it is the battle for realities begin because obviously if you didn't know that DC Comics has multiple Earths so this kind of just clashes all into one obviously it is a, a single story as well all right y'all thank you so much for watching this video these are all of my graphic novels I'm pretty sure that this deck is going to get a lot bigger in 2020 because there are some comics that I've read and I absolutely adore. If you didn't know, comic books usually range or graphic novels, same thing, usually range from $10 up to $20 for one issue and most of the time they have like six issues. So <laughs> there goes my money. So again, thank you so much for watching my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.